on the back side of the engine, underneath the strut bar, if you have one, you'll see the upstream O2 sensor. I'm gonna put my O2 sensor socket in here. There are multiple kinds that you can use. I have this kind, which looks more like a crow's foot than a uh, regular socket. I wanna make sure that it actually fits down here. All right, well, I guess you can't use one of those because it doesn't fit. I need to use this one, which I dislike only because of the fact that um, it, it's so tall. It has to be, but it's so tall that when you pull at an angle, it kind of wants to sometimes stri strip out the threads. So we'll try to minimize that. But now I'm gonna put my ratchet on here. Just try to break this free. And so I don't know how well you can see, but I added an extension here so that I can have more leverage on the height of the socket here. And I'm gonna hold the tip of it, or the, the head of it. <coughs> okay, these are pretty tight in there. Just a warning. It does help to heat up the car a little bit first. The only downside is it's hot. So watch out. So now that this is loose, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it. That way I don't keep twisting the wire on itself. If you follow the wire, the electrical connector is right back there. Press on this tab and disconnect it. Just like this, and then, and to get this part out of here, you can see there's a little tab here. Pull up, pull up on the tab, or towards the, uh, towards the connector, and you should be able to just wiggle this out of place. There we go. Now you can continue removing the sensor without the wire wrapping itself around. And there it is. Take the new O2 sensor, slide it down in here. Of course, I'm gonna thread it on before I uh, plug it in for the same reason I don't want the wire to get wrapped up around itself here. Bottom it out by hand, that's bottomed out. Set the wire aside, and I'm just gonna give it a quick snug. I know you can't see a lot, but trust me, neither can I. So I gave it about a quarter of a turn. There we go, that's tight. Basically there's a little crush washer at the end of the threads, and that just needs to crush down, and that's what's gonna make your airtight seal so that you don't get exhaust coming out of here. Slide it in, plug this part in. There we go. And now if you had a check engine light, you could go ahead and clear it. And other than that, just take it for a road test. Make sure it runs smooth. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.